have a career in racing, and if so, what would you like to do, Dale? Well, I, I, you know, I want to be a race car driver someday. It's a great sport. I love it to death. You know, it's you know, it's all I've ever known. And Dale Jr. definitely did achieve that dream, becoming not just a race car driver, but a winning driver as well. It is time now for our second fan vote of the day. We want to know what you think. Is Dale Jr. living up to expectations? Following in the footsteps of a legend is difficult in any sport, but if your last name is Earnhardt, the weight of NASCAR is placed on your shoulders. Dale Jr. only has two wins in the last four years, but he continues to be the sport's most popular driver and a major marketing force in racing. Why do you think the fans have such an obsession with Dale Jr.? Um, that's a good question. Um... Wow, that's a good question. Uh, why they're obsessed with Dale Jr.? I don't know. You have to ask those guys. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I know him. He's a good friend of mine. I mean, hell, he ain't no different to me. He ain't no different than the guy next door. I don't know. Fans are obsessed with Dale Jr. because of Dale Sr. We wanted him to be the same as Dale Sr., but he's his own self. And since he's his own self, people love him even that much more. Part of the true obsession with Dale Jr. is mostly his name. Uh, so many fans were true Dale Earnhardt fans, and now that Dale Earnhardt is Dale Earnhardt Jr. So um, I think there's a true correlation to that. What a day in history! Dale Earnhardt Jr. will win! There's a new sheriff in town, and it's Dale Earnhardt. The Earnhardt name is such a big name in our sport, and I think when we lost Dale, he was a hero and a spokesperson and a face of the sport. Everybody really latched on to Dale to keep carrying that name on. I was a fan of his daddy's, and when he started racing, I just kind of fell in there. Of course his dad. Everybody loves his dad. His dad brought a lot into NASCAR. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt to win the Daytona 500. I just love the way he looks. <laughs> no, because of from his dad and him, and I mean, he's just awesome. I just think that he's the man, you know? He was what we wanted to be. He's, he was the guy with the hat on backwards, and he was every fan's hero. He doesn't try and fit into society. He just does what he wants to do, and that's what I love about him. Dale Jr. is a little private, and he doesn't do a lot. And I feel like everybody's trying to kind of figure him out and figure out what he's all about and what he likes to do or where he likes to go. There's some mystery there. Every sport, or whether it's music or acting, everyone has someone that people find fascinating, and, and I think that, uh, that NASCAR fans find him very interesting. Make no mistake how loyal our fans are. I'm going to tell you something, the Junior Nation, you don't screw with the Junior Nation. Listen to the crowd, 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly, it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. I, I just, I don't know, just, it's just my favorite. I just like all races, and I like the scars and everything. Because he's the best. There's no other way around it. He's just the best driver out there. What's up, man? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, you are the man. I think he's very personable with the fans, and I think a lot of people can relate to him. Number one. There is going to be a party in Junior Nation tonight. The most popular driver award is unique in that its winner is chosen exclusively by fans. He wins it today for the tenth time in a row, Dale Earnhardt Jr. What would cause fans to not vote for Dale Jr.? Is there anything? No, oh, man, everything I want to say is going to get me in trouble. I don't know, make a sex tape? But maybe it'd be more popular. I don't know. Everything I think is probably making it more popular. <laughs> that is only, only, only Brad. That, was yeah, that, Brad that is good. funny right there, and it was tongue in cheek. You heard what he said, but I don't believe I'm like Brad. I don't believe that would hurt his popularity. I don't think he can do anything to hurt his popularity. What I don't like about the Dell Jr. phenomenon, and I've said it a million times, and we heard it from interviewers, or we heard it from race fans. There, I pulled for his dad. I pulled for him. He is not Dell Senior. He is Dale Jr. Get it through your heads. Let the kid be the race car driver that he can be. 
quit projecting your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations onto him. Let him be a race car driver. He's won 18, 19 races. He won a nationwide championship. He is a solid race car driver in his own right and does not constantly need to be compared to his father. And I'm telling you, if you put his stats up against his dad's, they don't look good. I can vouch. Put mine, up against, <laughs> put mine up against the Kings. They look like crap, man. I'm telling you. But get off his back on a lot of this stuff because he is just like Truex said. He's just another guy yeah. and a good guy. Okay, I'm going to de-bull all this for you. I'm here because of my brother, Rusty. He's here because of his dad, Richard Petty. Michael Waltrip is here because of Darrell Waltrip. And we can go on down the road with Mario Andretti, Michael It's a long Andretti. list. Yes, it's, it is. It, it's a long list. But, but, but here's the deal. He has a mystique to him. He's very private. Uh, I don't even know where he's at. He doesn't come out of his house, doesn't come out of his motorhome. I do feel very sorry for him, and I'll tell you why. He's so popular, he can't go anywhere. Uh, I I will say this. I, I can. What are you going to say? <laughs> I'm going to say he's like the Bob Dylan of, of NASCAR, dude. Yeah, I mean, and, you just, he, he's just out there I, yeah, somewhere. And, doing and I stuff. got it down. He's, he's like Elvis. He's like James Dean, Larry. I mean, he's very. He, nobody, nobody knows him. You can't figure him out. Well, if, if his last name was Smith and, or Jones, obviously the popularity would not be there. But I think we have to give credit where credit's due. He had a lot of success at the beginning of his career. Kyle mentioned it. Back to back nationwide series champions. Uh, became the first rookie to win the Sprint All Star race in 2000, won the 2004 Daytona 500. I know the numbers are not there right now, what these fans want to see out of Dale Earnhardt Jr., but a lot of success early. But we can't worry about the past. That's right. We're looking out the windshield of the future, and I know this, in 2013, aside from the numbers he's laying down, second to points, four top ten finishes, I see a different Dale Earnhardt Jr. He is engaged with his race team. I know in practice yesterday, he was looking at the scoring monitor inside of his race car. He's sitting there taking notes to be able to share with Steve Letarte. This is something we have not seen out of Dale Earnhardt Jr. And another little nugget, he's on a fitness program. He has lost about 12 to 15 pounds. He is doing everything he can physically and mentally to be a contender for this championship because you know what? He's still got a long way to go in his career, but the clock's ticking at the same time. Yep, and, and he is uh, off to the best start of his career so far. More than 350,000 votes have come in. And look, that's pretty a much shocker. deadlocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much deadlocked right now. Just hit 400,000 votes. So keep letting us know what you think about Dale Jr. And is he living up to those expectations that are set very high? Now, Jr.'s father, Dale Earnhardt Sr., not only was famous on and off the track, so was his pit crew. Before Jeff Gordon's Rainbow Warriors, there was a group of hard-nosed, rough-and-tumble characters simply known as the Junkyard Dogs. Matt Clark had the opportunity to sit down with the legendary team and their owner, Richard Childress, in an emotional look back at the late Dale Earnhardt. Here's a quick peek.